Dubai has long been home to some of the world's tallest and most iconic skyscrapers, from the towering Burj Khalifa to the architectural marvels that shape its skyline. But now a new contender is ready to challenge the limits of human engineering. Standing a mere 103 meters shorter than the Burj Khalifa, the Burj Azizi is set to take Dubai's skyline to new heights. And it's not just about size. This colossal structure will push boundaries with features no other skyscraper can match. Today, we're diving into why Burj Azizi is set to outshine all the other giants around the globe. Dubai's skyline is a living testament to human ambition. From the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building on earth, to the innovative designs like the Cactus Tower, the city has become a playground for architectural brilliance. But now a new titan is under construction. Dubai isn't slowing down. That brings us to the Burj Azizi. Set to rise 725 meters, this colossal tower is being built along Sheikh Syed Road, right in Dubai's bustling World Trade Center district, home to the city's most iconic landmarks. And it's not just about height, the developers are going after a handful of world records too. The hotel lobby will sit on the 11th floor, and it's aiming to be the world's highest. Marketed as a seven-star hotel, even though technically that rating doesn't exist, sorry, Burj Al Arab, each floor will reflect a different culture, with seven restaurants offering global cuisine. At level 126, the nightclub will claim the title of the highest party spot on earth. Even the observation deck located on the 130th floor will outdo every other public viewing area, sitting at 649 meters above ground, offering sweeping views in every direction. The restaurant on the 122nd floor will be even higher than atmosphere. Burj Khalifa's former record holder, a title recently taken by China's Heavenly Jin. When it's finished, Burj Azizi will stand just 103 meters shorter than the Burj Khalifa, giving Dubai both the tallest and second tallest towers in the world. Dubai's skyline already screams wealth and innovation. So why build another mega tower? And can other upcoming skyscrapers around the world steal its spotlight? The short answer? Absolutely. But let's zoom out to see the bigger picture. For decades, the US dominated the skyscraper scene. The Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building defined ambition. In the 70s, the World Trade Center pushed the limits even further. But by 1998, that crown left the US Malaysia's Petronas Towers became the new tallest, signaling that Asia and the Middle East were ready to lead. Since then, only two more buildings have claimed the top spot, Taipei 101 in 2003 and the Burj Khalifa in 2010. These towers push architectural limits and introduce innovations that shape construction worldwide. Taipei 101 uses a massive pendulum to counter earthquakes and wind. Tokyo Sky Tree can sway with tremors thanks to seismic isolation. Petronas Towers showcased ultra-strong concrete. These structures grab headlines and tourism. Dubai brought in 18.7 million overnight visitors in 2024, ranking seventh globally for international arrivals. And the Burj Khalifa? It's now the world's most visited monument. Iconic buildings like the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben define cities. And the Burj Khalifa did that for Dubai. Holding multiple world records reinforces Dubai's identity as a global leader but other cities are now vying for the spotlight. Let's look at the current top five tallest buildings. If Burj Azizi were completed today, it would take second place at 725 meters. However, several future towers could disrupt that. In the US, Oklahoma City's Legends Tower is approved for unlimited height, but is currently targeting 581 meters symbolic of Oklahoma's statehood year, 1907. Malaysia's Trade Wine Square Tower was supposed to reach 775 meters, but it's been on hold since 2018. China's Shenzhen Tower at 642 meters could become the country's tallest. Russia's Lakta Center 2 is aiming for 703 meters by 2030, with more usable office space than Burj Khalifa. Then there's Kuwait's Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir, planned to reach 1,000 meters by 2035. Egypt is in the game too, planning a one-kilometer obelisk-style tower in its new capital, the Oblisco Capitale. And Dubai? It's got more in the pipeline. Dubai Creek Tower was once envisioned at 1,300 meters, the tallest ever, though that's now scaled back. Uptown Tower 1 is targeting 711 meters. Meanwhile, Imar, the developer behind Burj Khalifa, is planning an even taller super tower. But the real wild card? Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia the most serious contender to break the 1,000-meter barrier. Originally paused for years, construction has resumed and is. So if Jeddah Tower finishes first, Burj Khalifa could lose its crown 
and Burj Azizi might miss out on second place entirely. That's a real challenge for Dubai. Jeddah Tower began construction in 2013, giving it a serious head start. With momentum building again, it may very well win the race. As for Burj Azizi, construction is moving forward. Foundation and piling work will continue into 2025. With a total budget of $1.66 billion, a massive investment banking on Dubai's future. So what do you think? Will Burj Azizi make its mark or will it get overshadowed by the next wave of record breakers? Drop your thoughts in the comments.